hello everyone and welcome back today we're doing a video on newly released products my thoughts on them if i'm going to buy them we'll find out so before we get started don't forget to subscribe like and comment let's get to it now the first item will be the Too Faced clover bronzer now as much as i love Too Faced, their packaging always gets me i'm going to pass i mean i do like how you could just mix the three colors together and I'm guessing you're going to get your perfect bronzer shade. It's going to be a pass. It's going to be a pass. I'm sorry, Too Faced. You're so cute. So cute. All right. And now we have the Jeffree Star palette, which I'm pretty sure might be sold out. Um, it's extremely it's just gorgeous it's gorgeous the purples i love that pop of red red always speaks to me um i really don't know i'm not sure about this, this is definitely something i'm going to think about his pack his packaging is just this there's no words he's so creative he's genius like it's in the greens i'm going to think about it I'm going to think about it. I know he has a good formula. He doesn't release anything unless it's like perfect. That's one thing I like about Jeffree Star. Um, we're going to think about it, about this one. We will definitely think about this one. We will see. All right, now we have the Carolina Herrera, if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, she's coming out with a makeup collection. Now, looking at this collection, it is so chic and sophisticated and just beautiful now i really want like the highlighter and a bronzer i know she has like lipstick with like tassels and then the compacts are supposed to have like little things you can attach to it like the beetle like a little beetle um which i really do want i want the red one oh it's so pretty could you imagine having that on your vanity beautiful so chic um i kind of do want it i know it's probably i want to guess it might be like 80 dollars, maybe 100 i don't know i know it's gonna be expensive it's definitely something that i would probably get for like my birthday maybe christmas if it's around like only for a special occasion because it's quite expensive but maybe maybe for my birthday right I mean, you have to treat yourself. It's okay. All right, we're going to talk about Urban Decay. Now, Urban Decay has the a wired palette out. Um, I'm definitely going to pass on this because I still have my electric palette that I use. I use it like for spring and summer. It works fine. Yeah, it's old, but it, it still works perfectly. But I seen some reviews on this palette, and it, they really didn't really. It didn't. The reviews didn't impress me enough to say I'm going to purchase it. So I'm definitely going to pass. But if it goes on sale, there's a chance I might look into it. So as of right now, we're going to pass. All right, next we have the Too Faced Born This Way collection. It's cute. I've seen it at Ulta. Um, it's a neutral palette, nice pinky tones. But I have enough neutral palettes I'm sure it might go on sale eventually. I hate I hate to say that, but it might. The highlighters, I know there's one with glitter, one with sheen, like a sheeny highlighter, and then maybe one that's kind of like a setting powder, powder kind of like hourglass, but eh, I'm gonna pass. I mean, it's cute, it's adorable, but no, no thank you. Now we have Sugar Pill. Now I never tried Sugar Pill. Sugar Pill. Um, the pill packaging is cute. I haven't seen that done before. But it doesn't really speak to me. I don't know about this. And because I don't know about it, I'm definitely, I'm going to pass. Now, let's talk about Shantakai. <sighs> this collection is so gorgeous with the hummingbird. <sighs> it's just gorgeous. I know it's quite expensive, maybe. I'm thinking about getting it for my birthday. I know. Oh my God. Like I want the palette and I want the setting powder. Um, there's a YouTuber by RV World or Raya World. 
I will link it. I will um, link it down below. Um, but she did a review on this collection. Oh, she did a great, like an amazing job. And she just made me really want this collection. So I'm just going to wait for my birthday. I'm going to wait. I'm going to hold off and treat myself. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. All right, next, since we're talking about expensive products, we're gonna talk about Tom Ford, why not? So he's coming out with face palettes and they are so pretty. He's coming out with at least four, but the only one I really, that's really interesting to me or I'm intrigued by would be the one with the pop of blue in it. Now that one, I have my eye on that, I have my eye on that one, I really do. Um, I know there's like, I think there's like, it comes with a highlighter and a bronzer. I'm pretty sure it's going to be like $155. Um, thinking about maybe getting it. Maybe. I mean, it's a good gift for, to myself for my birthday or Christmas. I need help. I know I need help. This is like, who is this person? How much money am I trying to spend for my birthday? A million dollars? Like, come on. Um, so I'll think about it. It's expensive. It's a hundred. We'll think about it. I'm going to have it chill in the cart and come back and think about it. All right. Now we have a Jaclyn Hill. Now, I never tried Morphe before. I know I love, I know a lot of people like swear by Morphe. They love Morphe. Um... But it's something, I mean, it's a warm palette with pops of pinks and purples, pretty for spring and summer, but I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass on it because I do have pinks and purples and all that jazz in my collection. And I don't know, I don't get, I don't get like excited about seeing it. Like I'm pretty sure it's a beautiful palette, but I'm just like, not for me. No, thank you. Sorry. Let's talk about Bobbi Brown. Now, Bobbi Brown has this uh, collection coming out. The packaging's really cute. You know how I feel about with colorful color and pops of black. Um, really pretty. But I'm not going to buy something just for the packaging because I know I have, like, that highlighter. Because I'm pretty sure she that's an, an existing... I'm pretty sure it is an ex existing highlighter. So... I'm definitely gonna pass on it. The packaging is really pretty though. I love the the colors, the colorful look with the with the black. But yeah, we're gonna pass. All right, guys, and that completes the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Before you go, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.